When you yawn, my brother, bite your lower lips. That's how our, our scholars taught us. Bite it. Because Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in Hadith Imam al-Bani authenticated, Inna Allah yuhibbu al-utasa wal-utas wa yakrahu al-tathawb. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala likes and loves sneezing and he dislikes yawning. And in another authentic hadith, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Al-utasa min Allah is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sneezing. That's why you thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for it because in a time of sneezing, scientifically proven that heart stops. So you thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he revived you. And he dislikes tathawb because tathawb is from shaitan. He makes you lazy, sleepy. And uh, also when you make the noise, he laughs. You basically uh, become a shaitan's entertainment. We don't need that. Barak Allah It happens. Another thing is important. Any ibad that you do if you find a resistance from all over the place generally it's like that this ibadah you are, you are doing it towards uh, uh, to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sincerely that's how shaitan stops you salaf they used to question themselves again and again if they see some ibadahs they do it's easy you know they don't see any resistance from shaitan illness problems you fall or, or, or someone else calling you emergency stops you from doing this ibadah then go forward more because this ibadah is making you uh, getting you closer nearer to Allah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and shaitan want to stop you he doesn't want you uh, get close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala these are principle practically proven so you know adhere to them barakallahu